like after a game like you had? Um, just a few more, you know, pats on the back and, you know, some more uh, pickups for my team. Other than that, the preparation is the same. I'm still going to work hard. You know, I'm, the game was great, but I'm focusing on ahead, you know. The real Johnny football seems to be a pretty popular thing amongst the teammates, so there could be a lot of, uh, a lot of heat about that. Yeah, that, that's, big, that's been my name since the, since the game. So, I mean, that, that's what they gave me, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, that won't, wouldn't bother me at all, you know, uh, Colt's been here. It's up to the coaches, though. Uh, we're both working in, taking reps, um, sh both trying to get better as a group and as a team. Do you expect to see a, a double tight end um, uh, format going forward? And, uh, I think Hubbard was talking about they use that back in the past with Ed Dixon and, and Paulson. Yeah, you know, they've, they've always said if they have enough tight ends to do it, you know, they'll open it up. And uh, if I've proved it to the coaches, that's up to them. If not, um, I'm happy to be here. How was your Sunday? Oh, it was great. Um, hung out with my friends, went fishing, got some treatment, and just ate a lot of good meals. How'd the body feel after that kind of workout? A little banged up, you know, a few bruises here and there, but definitely, you know, having a great game like that, it just kind of washed that away. It was good sore. It's really different, you know. I'm definitely not used to this, but it's pretty cool, you know, having people, you know, know who I am. But that's not going to change anything, you know. I'm still going to work hard, come practice, ready to go. You said you hadn't checked your phone when we last talked to you. When you got to your phone, how many messages did you get? Uh, I had 50 text messages, a few phone calls, and then my Instagram was kind of off the charts. So <laughs> I kind of had to shut that down for a little bit because it was just overwhelming. What's it like working on a wall? <laughs> it's great. You know, just live on your own land. You know, your nearest neighbor is you have to drive to. It's a great feeling. You know, just being out in the country, have some dogs. What what does it entail when working on that like that? Though? Just anything. It's a lot of odd jobs. You know, that we. Uh, me and my brothers would go cut suckers. You know, there are little limbs that hang off the trunks of the trees. Basically, they just suck away from the tree. So you have to get some pruners, cut them, and, uh, you know, move bins, forklifts, just kind of pruning trees. It's whatever my dad wants me to do. Is there anything on in those jobs that you can apply to football or that help you in football? I don't know. Just a little bit of heavy lifting. We'd have to move, like, you know, 20-pound box of walnuts. That's about it. Nothing too crazy. Throw walnuts at people? Oh, yeah, of course. It's <laughs> a given. You know, they relate to each other. It's just you put in the hard work and you see the results after. I mean, they just go hand in hand. It's, uh, that's what I thank my parents for. They've taught me to you know, grow up and be thankful for what you've got and work hard to get something. And it's just carried over in everything else that I do. So, are there machines to get the walnuts off? Or? Yeah, we have shakers. So you get a shaker, you get on the trunk of the tree, shakes it, and that's fall down. Sweepers sweep it in the middle of the rows, and you come up and pick them up. So you don't even need a guy, huh? No, not really. No. Yep. But, uh, you know, there's, there's some manual labor you have to do. I mean, we have graders, and uh, you got to pick them out. You know, some bad, bad nuts in the group, but there's always work to do on the farm. Do you like walnuts? I love walnuts. <laughs> yes. Do you have a choice? Yeah, not really. <laughs> Um, right, at, right around uh, Christmas time, you know, that's when things pick up. It's, um, you know, but I mean, there's always stuff to do. There's always work.